Hey guys, thanks for joining us today for the video breakdown of the film of the newest Jaguar defensive end, Kalevon Chason. You can check us out on Twitter. We're at Jaguars underscore United, and we are on Instagram at Jaguars United underscore. Uh, we're formerly another Jags podcast, but we went through a little rebranding um, so that we could have a website, some apparel, a message board, articles, and things like that. So make sure to check that out at JagsUnited.com. But without further ado, uh, let's jump right into the film breakdown. All right, so I'm super excited about this Kalevon chase on pick. He was obviously picked in the first round, 20th overall by the Jaguars. And not a lot of people, I think, saw this pick coming. I mean, he's 6'3", 254, um, very, very athletic and fast defensive end slash edge slash outside linebacker. Um, we've kind of been talking about how we think Dave Caldwell is going to go more hybrid this year. Um, and Marone wants to do more hybrid stuff, um, adding an odd man front, edge rushers, things like that. So I think this kind of fits the retool defense that Caldwell um, was going for. Um, let me tell you why I like Chase on so much. Uh, the simplest way I could put it is that he's like the fastest guy in space I've seen in a while. Meaning like his foot speed is quick, his acceleration is quick. He gets to the ball very, very fast and super athletic guy. I mean, if you read about his how he got an offer from LSU, he just kind of went to a camp on a whim with a buddy and then ended up getting offered and um, as like a sophomore in high school or something like that. Um, very, very productive last year. 13 and a half tackles, six and a half sacks, and 13 starts. Um, and that's also coming off of an ACL injury in 2018. Uh, he tore his ACL like the first game of the season. Um, came back, and he still looks very athletic, even though he has that torn ACL. So very, very impressive, if you ask me. Um, he's so fast on the edge, like just to put perspective for you. Um, the left tackles or the right tackles, they'll kick out into their pass protection so quick in anticipation that he can kind of mess with them and go inside and stunt and spin. Um, he's got an amazing stunt because he's so fast. He's got a great spin move, and he's got a pretty good power move too. And so we'll see all those here um, in the film. So we're going to start with Texas A&M uh, film. And this is what I was talking about, his stunt, right? And you're going to see he's so fast that he's able to throw off tackles pretty easily here. Okay, so look, Chase going to be lined up here in what we call the nine technique, okay? Um, basically why we call it that is, um, if you're as a tight end here, lined up next to the tackle, um, the outside of his shoulder is where he would be lined up. And that's what we call the nine technique. This guy down here is also lined up in the nine technique. That's very, that's a staple of a three, four odd man front defense. If you look at what LSU is doing here, look, they have three people basically line up as a D line here. Uh, it's third and eight. So they're going to have these two guys in stand up. Looks like they're playing some sort of cover two pattern match here up top and with the trips to the right. Um, but it's an obvious passing down. So LSU is going to draw up a good play here. Um, and we're going to see, I'll just let it play through. Stunts to the middle, right through the A gap, makes the sack. Now, this is a good play because, look, you'll see here and you'll see from the end zone cam that he's so fast that the tackle didn't know how to play this when he saw him release the line of scrimmage toward the middle of the field. So, um, the end zone film here is going to give us a good view of it here. All right, so he's lined up here, and he circled there. Thank you, um, CBS production or ESPN. So he's going to loop in. Now watch the tackle here. The tackle is going to have pretty much no shot as soon as he does his stunt at the snap. See how far he kicks out. He sees that he's stunting. He says, oh, crap, I'm going to get back inside. The guard in the center, they don't know how to react, right, because it's third and eight, and it's a great stunt play. And now he's caught up. Center doesn't recognize him, um, and now he's going to get there. And he's so fast. I mean, look at his little, look at his choppy steps once he gets into the A gap here. Okay, this is what I really like about him is that his speed and acceleration is so fast. Once he gets here, he's off balance, right? And he's able to bend inside and get to the quarterback. And that's athleticism. I mean, he's 6'3", 254. That's slightly smaller than Josh Allen. I anticipate that he'll be playing the weak side, and Josh Allen will be playing the strong side and the little hybrid front. Um, very, very impressive. Okay, we're going to see another stunt here, okay? This is going to be against Texas. Again, another passing situation, third and down, third and nine. This is when speed rushers and edge rushers make their money, okay? Um, Texas is going to go empty. Um, bold move, um, but uh, LSU is going to have here five guys lined up here at the line of scrimmage. We're going to see another stunt here from chasing to the inside. Same play, same move. He's able to change directions on the quarterback and uh, make the tackle. Look, that's not easy to do. When, if a quarterback is standing still and you're running at him full speed, it's very, very hard to make the play on him because the quarterback has an advantage because he can just move either direction. Makes it there. Really looking forward to the stunt move. I hope 
Todd Wash implements it a little bit into the defensive scheme because I think Chase on could really uh, kill some teams with that. Oh, here's the end zone here. Okay, we're going to see another stunt. Look, this is just a great move all the way around. Um, the tackle again. You look how far he has to kick out. He has to kick out because he's so fast and Chase on beats so many people with speed that he had to kick out far and then the center or the guard, whoever's responsibility for trading off, can't get there. And that's what you like to see here. Okay, so that's his stunt. Very fast, very quick foot speed. Now we're gonna see a spin move, okay? He's got a very, very effective spin move. First and 10, I like this here, okay? George is gonna be in a 10 formation, two by two. I'm gonna call this tight end a receiver even though he's pretty close to the line of scrimmage. Chasen's gonna be lined up here to the weak side. Now this is to the boundary side, right? Because there's less field here than here. And this is where he makes his move because, because he plays the weak side, he's trailing a lot. He doesn't have to play the run a lot because usually teams will run to the strong side. So being a slightly smaller and faster won't hurt him here. Okay, so we're gonna see a spin move here. Great release at the line of scrimmage. Uh, makes a great move, wall getting blocked, make a play. Now, there's a couple interesting little tidbits here about the Georgia game. I don't think his Georgia game was his best game. To be fair, LSU played some good teams in 2019. Um, Auburn, Georgia, Alabama, Florida, Texas A&M, Clemson. They played eight. I mean, that's a schedule. That's a that's an NFL schedule with these people. And here's what I mean. This right tackle here he's going up against, that's Isaiah Wilson. He was just drafted by the Titans, okay? So we're going to actually see this matchup this year um, when we play the Titans. Good spin move here. Gets pushed in the back. Still makes a tackle on Fromm. Look, that's athleticism. That's wanting it. Um, the spin move was just so quick that that Wilson had no chance here. Scoop. Spin move. Love to see it. Gets to the inside. Effort play. Makes a sack. That's what you want out of a weak side edge rusher all day. Okay, here's going to be another spin move. Okay. Um, again, he's going to be lined up to the weak side here. Again, same formation. But we have a third down this time. Okay, so, not, so kind of more of an obvious passing down. 10 formation from the offense, two by two, weak side rush coming in. Oh, I'm sorry, he's lined up to the field this play. Okay, so he's gonna be lined up to the field um, on this play, and he's gonna be in four point here. I like it. Spin move, beats the tackle, and gets there. I mean, that's a good move there. I mean, this is a Texas AM team that's projected to be pretty decent next year. Um, some people have Mond going in the first round, at least the second round for sure. But look, we're gonna, he's going to line up here. You're going to see how the tackle is going to be so afraid of this outside speed move that he's going to overkick again. This is a pretty good spot if you're a left tackle. If, if you're here and you're a left tackle, like you're doing okay. I mean, you're, you, he looks pretty balanced. Um, he's going to get his hands on him, and that's what you want out of a left tackle. Unfortunately, the spin is just too much. The spin is too much, and he splits the tackle and the guard. That's it, man. That's a speed rushing move right there. And um, that's those are the plays that turn games around. I mean, how many times did the Jaguars give up third and eights last year when we could have gotten defense off the field, but instead, you know, we're playing another four downs. Okay, so now we're moving into um, his strength moves. Okay, so we've seen his stunt. We've seen his spin. Now we're going to see his bull rush and his strength that he has. Okay, so uh, George, uh, this is Oklahoma. Uh, this is was in the college football semifinal. Um, Oklahoma is going to be in a, again a shotgun formation. We'll call this tight end attached. So we'll call this uh, we'll call this twelve formation. Um, and then he's going to be coming in motion. And Chase on is going to be here. Okay, so Chase on is going to be to the boundary to the weak side where he usually likes to be. Oklahoma is going to try to put a tight end on him, and that's just foolish. Look, the tight end edge matchup that's about equal. Like those guys are similar in size, similar in strength. Like that's body on body, pound for pound matchup. That's, that's what it is right there. And Chase on, I mean, look what he does to this tight end. I mean, just absolutely just ragdolls him, just throws him away, takes down Hurts. I mean, look, this is a this is a good team. I mean, Oklahoma is a good team, and he has no problem just pushing through him. So teams in the NFL are going to have to account for him on the edge, and you're not going to be able just to put a tight end to block him because he'll just throw him like that. All right, so our next one, we're going to see another one. And this one, he doesn't get a sack, um, but he gets a, he gets a solid pressure. Um, and he's going to be lined up here in his two-point stance. He's actually lined up to the field this time, which I like to see a little uh, diversity in where he lines up. I like that. So uh, 10, two by two, very popular in college. He's going to release off the edge. He's going to push the tackle into the quarterback. Now, look, this is a quick throw. And um, I apologize the video quality is a little weak. But you can see how he makes a play on, this, on the left tackle, pushes him into the backfield, 
He's so worried about getting beat with speed that he just never gets balanced. He never gets his feet under him, and Chasen causes that. I mean, Chasen, look how he keeps his leverage low, pushes with his legs. Look, that's not something you see from a 254-pound edge rusher. I mean, that is strength. I mean, the dude's an athletic freak. Um, Texas makes a, a solid play here, but that's a good pressure there in the NFL. I mean, that's, that's all you can ask for. All right. Um, so now we're going to look at him setting the edge. Very important part of playing edge rusher is if they run the ball to your side, you have to set the edge. Basically what that means is, is you can't let the ball carrier get outside of you. If he does, you don't have a lot of help, and he can get up the sideline for a big game. So the goal is, and what they teach these guys to do, whether you're an outside linebacker or an edge rusher, is to keep your outside shoulder free. That's the key. You can engage on the inside, but keep your outside shoulder free so you can make a play. Um, and we're going to see his ability to set the edge here. He's gonna be lined up here. He's got. He's got. Look, I mean, he's got. He's got a, a tight end in front of him here, and uh, so we know he's gonna have to engage a block here. Okay, Florida's gonna run a little, uh, little, little uh, inside draw here. Uh, they're gonna pull the guard, um, which is gonna make it hard for any edge player. Chase on is there. He engages the tight end, pushes the guard, gets to the backfield. Look. A pulling guard is an outside backer's worst enemy. I mean, that's the last thing they want to see is a guard coming downhill with some speed. And Chase on has no problem fighting off the tight end's weak block, who's trying to get to the second level, and then fighting off the pulling guard. I mean, that's easy. I mean, anytime, look, if you're a weak side edge rusher and you can stop a pulling guard to the weak side, I mean, that's your bread and butter. I mean, that's a great play. Um, makes a tackle in the backfield. I mean, that's just a dog right there. I mean, that's solid. That translates to the next level. That's what he's going to be asked to do in the NFL. And the knock on him is going to be, can he hold up against a pulling guard to the weak side? And this shows us that he can. This gives us another look here. He's going to shed the tight end. Um, and then he's just going to maul the guard, make a play in the backfield. I mean, that, that's it. That's typical NFL player. Um, love to see it. All right, we're going to see another one of him setting the edge here um, against Bama. Um, um, we're going to see him here at the top of the screen. Takes on a block and sets the edge. Um, they're going to run a little outside zone play here, a little outside sweep, whatever they, they call it. And he's going to shoot through the gap here, fight off the left tackle. I mean, that, that's a bare left tackle. I mean, that's Jedrick Wills right there. I mean, that's a... That's a dude that's playing on Sundays and playing in the NFL. He's going to use his arms. He's going to push off, and he's going to make a play on the ball. I mean, that's it right there. All right, we're going to look at one more play, um, then we're going to wrap up this film here. Um, this is Texas again. He's going to set the edge here. Um, he's going to make a play in the gap, finds the ball carrier, gets there. This is what I was talking about, about setting the edge, okay? If you watch him here on the edge, and we're going to have to go back to We didn't get a great start to this film, but that's just the way it is sometimes. He's going to be on the edge. The right tackle's job is going to be to seal Chase on back to the inside. Um, and if he can do that, look at the way LSU's lined up. If he can seal Chase on back inside, this ball carrier is now running free on the sidelines. But look what Chase is able to do. He's able to push his tackle into the backfield. Okay. And then keep the edge. Look, now if he wants to go outside, he's going to lose a lot of time out here. So now his next best option is to run it up inside this B gap. And that's where his help is. Look, if you watch that play, that doesn't look like something that is all that special. But in reality, he defeated the block. He pushed the line of scrimmage back, which is what you want to do if you're an edge player. And your ability to do this um, really goes a long way as an outside backer edge type player. Overall, I'm very excited about this move and this signing. I think he's going to be a great player. I mean, he's a nightmare for left tackles. Anytime he lines up, especially on passing downs, tackles just have to kick out and just hope that they can catch him to the edge because he'll beat him with speed um, anytime. And, and he really, really does know um, how to play. He knows he's, he's a smart player. He hasn't been playing football very long. He's only had two years of college football. Uh, he didn't play a lot in high school. Um, he's an athletic freak, and I do think that we got a steal here. And I think he was a kind of under-the-radar guy for a reason. I mean, he was on the field every single play for LSU. LSU was great. Um, he can work a little bit on his zone drop. He did have a couple a couple uh, parts in his film that um, dropping to the zone here. I mean, I think here we'll see it. Uh, bad drop. He just kind of drops into an open zone and gets beat here. 
which is look, I mean, every player, I mean, every, no, no one's perfect, right? And so there's everything you got to work work on. Look, misses reads it, drops too deep. That's a guy who just is still learning, and and he'll get into the right system. The Jags will teach him. Miles Jack will teach him, and he'll end up being um, a great player, in my opinion. I'm super pumped about the pick. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure to check out the website. We got some new stuff coming. We got the forum coming later this month. We got some apparel coming later this month. Thank you guys for watching and supporting. Make sure to subscribe, like, and all that stuff. And let us know what other breakdowns you want to see. I mean, we plan on doing all of the players that the Jaguars drafted and some other players. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, go Jags.